Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this one I have had this sent to me by iMailey. Now this is 12 Colours Solid Cream Gel Polish. I will put a picture up on the screen um, and show you what it looks like on Amazon because that's where this is from. So um, yeah I was really excited to try this because I haven't tried any of these um, solid cream colours yet and they do look really good. Um, so yeah, they do these in a few different ones, a few different, um, color palettes. These are, well, I'll get it open and I'll show you what they look like. Okay. So the front is exactly like the box. And then let's just put that down a minute. You do have a little instruction sheet. So let's have a little look at this because there's certain things we want to know before we dive in. So you've got instructions there, basically what you would do with the gel polish. So it says cure in a UV LED lamp, but it doesn't say for how long. So with that being said, um, and it not actually saying on the packaging anywhere, I would cure for 60 seconds. Okay, so let's open it up. So it just opens here. Oh, and on the back it also says, it shows you a picture of the colours. So these are like sort of... I don't know what you'd say like aurora ones they look like to me lots of different like color shifts in there so oh they're also hema free which i didn't know so that's good i'm glad they've put that on there so water droplets or bubbles upon unpacking a normal amount of fact usage yeah that is true i've had solid creams before and they do always say that so oh wow look at these Oh, they are beautiful. I hope the camera's picking those up. Wow. So we've got sort of these ones here that don't have glitter in, but then we've got some of them that are glittery. I want to swatch them all, but I'm not going to use 12 swatch sticks to do that with. So I'm going to get one swatch stick and I think I'm just going to put bits, you know, a little bit of each one on some of the swatch sticks. They look amazing. So yeah, I'm going to get the swatch stick out and we're going to have a little play with them and see what they are like. So just give me a minute and I will be back. Right, okay, so I'm going to use this brush because it's not um, it's not as thick as your normal application brush. So I'm just going to have a go with that. So start with the first one. I'll just do them row by row. Oh, so it's very, very soft. I'm hardly touching it at all. Okay, so I'm going to give that one a cure now. Okay, so I've just got some of the next one, which is this one, and this has more of a sort of green tone, and this has got some glitter in it as well. So yeah, it's not a green tone, that one. It's more of a gold tone. Okay, so next is the third one. This looks like a blue. So I am going to have to do another coat of that first one because I just don't think I got enough on the brush. Now I've got a bit more used to using them with this third one. I know sort of how much you need on your brush. Oh, wow, that is beautiful. Oh, I love that one. It's my favourite so far.
you see the shift in that glow it's like magnetic but you've not used a magnet on it oh so that's more of that's like a copper that one very nice another blue toned one that's really nice Okay, so this was the first set. Obviously, that's just over clear. This was the second set. So as you can see, a lot of them are very similar. And then that was the third one. So what I will do, I'm just going to go off camera now and I am going to put half of these swatch sticks um, so half of the length in black and so you can really see what the colours look like. Okay, so here they are in the same order but this time they've got half of the swatch stick is black. I just painted it like that and you can see the difference now. You can really see the colours. So you could definitely use these over black. Look at them. I mean, then they won't be as streaky if you use an applicator brush. So you can see what they look like over clear and then with the black. So some of them are very similar. I mean, this one, this blue and this blue, they look, to be honest, I can't really tell the difference. This one might be slightly, slightly lighter than this one. Um, and these two are very similar. So yeah, that is what they look like. I'm really impressed with these. I think they are beautiful. So the last thing that I want to try with these is putting them over a coloured gel polish and see what that looks like. So I've got three colours from I'm Ailey. I have got um, sort of a neon pink, which is 056. I've got a lovely baby blue, 059. And I've got a lovely lilac, which is 060. So... I'm going to get those and then I'm going to put some corresponding colours over the top so I can show you what they look like. 
Okay, so I've got my um, nail tips now. So the first one I'm going to do is this blue one. And I've got my Madame Glam detailer, um, sorry, application brush for this one. I want to do it properly. So I'm going to use this first blue here. you can see the shimmer it's not um not that obvious on camera but i can definitely see it it's like you've put sort of like pearl powder on top of that blue or something so next is this lilac one and i'm going to use this inky shade here because this was um it was this one which is the most purple out of all of them And then the last one is this pink, so obviously this is very, very neon. Um, so I need so I need to find a pink. Right, so I'm gonna use this one. Okay, so this is the blue one, so that's got like an iridescent shimmer now. It is just like you've put um, sort of chrome powder or pearl powder on top of that baby blue, and it just gives it something else, doesn't it? I love the way that looks. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Looks really, really nice, so I definitely do that. If you haven't got any chrome powder or anything, or you don't like the faff of it, because it is annoying sometimes um, getting it just right, you could use this and then on the lilac one I didn't go all the way to the bottom so you can see what the colors like underneath and you can see that the color I've put on top it doesn't really change it the color of it it just gives it a really gorgeous shimmer so that one's sort of in the middle the first one's more like a chrome powder the next one's a bit shimmery um, and then this pink one that's got a bit more glitter in it so that looks gorgeous that um, neon pink one i really like that one that's my favorite so yeah i really didn't think it would make that much difference on that neon because it was so bright to begin with but it does so i'm just going to show you them side by side now so you can see like the difference between just like the shimmery one and like the glittery one although there's not that much difference but yeah i wasn't sure what to make of these at all but i absolutely love them i think they're amazing um, and like I said, they have got different palettes available with different colours in, so I would definitely check it out. I will put the links to these um, palettes in my description box. I'll put a link to Amazon, and I'll also put these in my Amazon storefront because I would definitely recommend these to other people. So I'll put a link to that as well, where you can see all the other products that I've got from Amazon and I've reviewed. So I mainly did send me this to review. Um, but I would definitely, definitely recommend it to anybody else. I mean, you can see there over the black just how stunning they are. So let me know in the comments what you think about these colours. Would you wear them or have you already got some? Do you prefer them on their own or do you wear them over black or do you wear them over colours? So yeah, leave me a comment and let me know. And don't forget to like this video if you did like it. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And hit on the notification bell and then YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a video. So that's it for this one today. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.